welcome back to the channel guys so i'm actually feeling pretty good today and uh, i decided to pick up the camera and uh film something for you anyways um hopefully you're gonna like it it started a new project because i finally got done with uh, a previous project which was a fma build i did or revised because i never fully got around to finishing it. i built the the car did the parts but i did a like a hawk racer build and i was not pleased with it so i revamped it to something that will actually be competitive i feel like and uh, if i go to the backyard races or dxn um so i showed you that on my last video oh that was the clip of the car running at the end of the video so that was the recent FMA that I finished and um, now we will be on to another project Yay. Uh, so this time around it's going to be uh, a chassis that I have done before but uh, it's a different I guess I got inspired by someone and I will be uh, mentioning his Instagram once I look it up again and remember but uh, yes someone off Instagram with their build inspired me to do this build so I will uh, be not fully obviously following his uh, build plan uh, but I will be introducing my own as well there is two main components to this build that you must need and funny enough is I had them uh, it just happened to work out that way. It's working out that way, I guess, because of all these parts and I've been collecting with these, you know, big bundles I've been buying from these people getting out of the hobby and whatnot. Anyways, thankfully, you know, I've been so lucky to uh, come across all these people selling their stuff and I have all these parts to get these cool builds going for you. And um, yeah enough talking i'm gonna flip the camera around and show you uh what i got going so far and uh mentioned a guy off instagram who inspired me to uh get going on this project and we're back so here we got a vz chassis that i already cut up uh, planning on doing obviously if it's a cut chassis another open class build and this is gonna be uh, the plan. Da -da -da. We are using a VS, um, what is this? A Evo 1 base. I, be um, I guess it's called a base, but it's that under chassis guard piece that comes with this set. And I'm gonna use the front piece as well, but I already drilled out the holes to be able to use it on the VZ chassis, and that's the goal to uh, build around this guy. With that said, I want to thank uh, A and K from Japan for the idea. He really uh, gave me a direction to go in, uh, especially for this new project. So thank you very much. All right, this is the plan so far. I got this guy all leveled out. It is nice and even. So I got the back screws put in a little bit, just so I have it, you know, kind of together. I still need to get the sides mounted, but other than that, we're on the right track. I forgot, I need to countersink these holes. Excited about it. 
because I am able, I was able to finally get this rear wing on here, on a car, I mean, in general. I know it probably adds weight, but I am uh, kind of weird like that with the little things. Overall, the car has a very Formula One, I feel like, look to it. It's very sleek. Um, there's a few hints, uh, details of how nice the placement of the rear weight is. Sorry for zooming out. I ended up putting some foam down there underneath the stay so it doesn't rock forward. Very sleek. I ended up actually putting this cross section piece here, mainly not for rigidity, but to hold the body down, make it more aerodynamic. Uh, and I went with keeping this a sec uh, separate um, from here because I did that same setup on my FMA, keeping it uh, separate and it seems like it works very well. Having the body damper um, as a separate unit from the front stay. So I'm gonna try that out on this chassis and see how it goes. Um, but overall I'm loving the look. And I think the functionality is going to be there too. Uh, on to the next clip. We will see how much this guy weighs. With out batteries and then with. Back to the most inconsistent build channel. Sorry about that, y'all, but the car is done and it's ready to go. So, I uh, got the bags in the car, got the box in my car, and got a few other extra things to put in the garage for decoration. Uh, so, we're gonna be heading out of the house here in a minute to go get some food and coffee. And, and we're gonna get to some testing for you guys. So, uh, BRB. Oh yeah. <laughs> Food time. Coffee time. And then car time. Welcome back guys. So we're here with uh, a little bit of testing. Got the car with uh, batteries in it. And uh, well, here we go. some dirty tires huh <laughs> how dirty is it yeah they're pretty dirty Ew. I mean, I mean, pretty grimy look at that. <laughs> well with some dirty tires you need to clean them quick so i decided to come up with a easy solution for all you guys out there who you know just carry around some alcohol and like a little sponge or whatnot to clean your stuff i know that's a pain so you don't gotta do that anymore. I'm gonna be offering this as a giveaway in my giveaway. It is my solution to a quick detailing for 
I, well, your tires between races, uh, you know, even while you're just messing around like I do, because it makes your car run that much more consistent. So all you gotta do is you spin the top off and inside the bottle, you could fill it yourself, but I'm gonna be selling them filled uh, with, uh, I think it's gonna be a mix of half water, half an alcohol. So, but these bottles will be sold at ten dollars a piece. Uh, we'll be coming in with the giveaway of the box. So, whoever gets that giveaway will be getting the first one. Um, all it is is you tip the bottle forward. This sponge head gets all saturated once you put pressure on it. So you put a little pressure on it. Uh, the whole idea is to not be touching the alcohol. You know, it's one less thing to touch. It, you know, the alcohol, you keep touching it, it dries out your fingers, it gets all blah. So it, the idea is you turn the car on and while it's running, all you gotta do is a couple times, Look how fast and clean that gets those white tires too. Ooh. Yeah. So even the black ones, just a couple times. A like brand new. No more dirt. No more dirt. And then you're ready to go for your race. And you know, it's it's the necessary thing to uh, get done. And then to take care of it, so you know you don't have to keep spending obviously on your uh, on getting these containers. I uh, like to take care of the head. What's beautiful about it is you just need yourself a microfiber, and you just dab away like you would dab away on the tire. But you just keep dabbing here, you know, gently. Don't push too hard on that head because inside is a little mechanism that releases the alcohol and then holds it in. Uh, so you dab away here and there, just look at it. If you need to clean a little bit more, tip it back over, maybe one more time. And then there you go, it's all blue again. Hey. Yeah. So that's gonna be the new, uh, giveaway option and we're gonna be selling it so if you're interested please dm me uh, keep a level mini four wheel drive and once we have our website up and going hopefully we can get that this guy up there too it's 10 bucks a piece uh you know i think it's pretty reasonable since uh it's one less thing you can get on your hands right it's al getting alcohol keep getting alcohol in your hands it definitely dries it out and if you're like me who uses your hands a lot and got cuts on them that uh, can be annoying <laughs> it hurts too uh but anyways let's get to t uh to some more testing here because this car's so fun even though it's not that quick look at how fast it is with some clean tires coming off again i think they are oh no they stayed on this time <laughs> i need to double side these tires on but for sure anyways thank you for watching please subscribe comment share whatever you think and, don't forget like and yeah of course like. <laughs> yes 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 and please dm me if you're interested in the new uh cleaning uh solution because it's gonna go fast i only have eight of them at the moment I will get more if there's interest, but right now, eight, I have eight, ten dollars a piece, so hit me up. Have a good day, y'all. Bye.